Well, and I've traveled a lot, and I've noticed that it's really only kind of Midwest centric. Like you can get Crab Rangoon, Illinois. You can get Crab Rangoon, Kansas. I just, I don't know if that's, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just going to places that are like, we hate Crab Rangoon. I don't know, but I, it just, that fascinates me. Let's go ahead and kick it into Florida, man. I'm like talking about food. Hey, brother, it's time to check in on Florida, man. This is like the best, best thing ever. So, uh, this, uh, homeowners, Associ- this is a case of a good Florida man, but a horrible Florida homeowners association. Now, I am one of those individuals who's like, I don't, if you don't want to deal with homeowners association, don't move to where there's an area where they have a homeowners association. It's pretty simple, but this is the most just idiotic thing I've ever heard. So Jacksonville, Florida, a Florida man, a veteran, is facing $8,000 in fines, and he could lose his home because of a tiny flag that he stuck in a small flower pot in front of his home. You can't even see the damn thing from the street. I'm looking at a picture of it now. There's picture and video of it available at clickorlando.com. So now... Florida man uh, Larry Murphy says that the HOA there in his Sweetwater community wanted him to remove the flag because it violates home display rules. It's a tiny little bitty flag, right? So uh, they said that he owes them $8,000 and they put a foreclosure lien on his home and they said he has 30 days to pay the fines and remove the flag or they're going to move forward with the foreclosure. So now they started moving forward with the foreclosure. They're going to foreclose on his home because, and I'm not exaggerating, when I say that this is a tiny, it's probably about the length of your foot. It's probably a foot long. Tiny little thing stuck in an average size flower pot sitting right there on his front porch. And because of the way the railing is situated, you can barely see it from the street. Not making this up. I mean, you know what, Kevin? I'm going to go one better. I'm going to send you this link, and I'm, I want you to be like, I, and you tell me whether or not you think that this is just an egregious display that's just ruining the whole neighborhood. Because it's tiny, I just sent. So while you look for that, next up, um, this, oh my gosh, a uh, Florida man walked into a CVS with a paper bag on his head. And when he startled, obviously startled, and by the way, this guy looks like, he, they, his name's Clayton Shuey, Florida man Clayton Shuey. He's got blonde hair that's feathered back. And he looks like he was plucked right out of the 70s and put here today. He has a very anachronistic appearance. And he tried to enter a pharmacy with a brown paper bag over his head. Indian River County Sheriff's deputy responded to the call from the CVS pharmacy. They said it was a suspicious incident. He tried to come in the store. He was scaring customers. They thought they were going to be robbed. They tried to get Shuey to leave. He wouldn't do it. He wouldn't remove his bag. Every time he was escorted out, he would try to re-enter and cuss at the staff. And then when the law when uh, the law when the law arrived, he told them that he was employed with the FBI, the uh, uh, DEA, and the CIA. So they better get out of his way. Not making this up. You can't make this stuff up. It's just just this Florida. Uh, this is I. <sighs> Florida boy drives to Walmart in a stolen school bus. And apparently he drove reasonably well. Panama City Beach, Florida, via the Associated Press, authorities in Panama City have arrested a 12-year-old because he took a school bus on a joyride. That is a brazen kid. He uh, is facing charges, obviously, because it's uh, grand theft and felony criminal mischief. Did you see that photo of that flag, Kevin? I did. How dare him? How dare him? That's just ridiculous. Are, am I, please tell our listening audience that it is like the tiniest flag it's ever. It's a little in a tiny little one. You wave at a parade. It's ridiculous. Yeah, uh, it, and that, they're going to foreclose on his house because of that. Insane. We're going to take a quick break. Don't go anywhere. The Dana Show. Get more Dana Show at 971talk.com. This Dana Show podcast brought to you by Air Comfort Service Heating and Cooling. Need service, maintenance, or a new HVAC system? Air Comfort Service works 24-7 keeping area homes and businesses comfortable. If you have a heating and cooling problem, visit aircomfortservice.com.
Dana Lash is off and running, generating the buzz. All bets are off at this point. So great to talk to you, Dana. You're my favorite. Dana, you and I are blood brothers for the American dream. Dana Lash, the conservative alternative. This is The Dana Show. Now, it shows a woman wearing what appears to be a McDonald's uniform beating a woman while the victim's toddler watched and pleaded for the violence to stop. At the same time, others watching the violence take out their cell phones and record it without intervening. And you can see in the video, the woman is kicked and punched while her son tries to intervene on behalf of his mother by trying to kick the attacker several times, but still the attack continues. This happened on Tuesday. The video was then posted on Facebook. Police were able to copy the video before it was deleted. Now, the chief said once the judge sets bail, the woman will be apprehended and incarcerated. I, um, this video is so insane that this uh, thug of a woman dressed in her, 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 her work uniform, she was identified as 25-year-old Letitia Harris, she faces charges of aggravated assault and two counts of terroristic threats. She's wearing her McDonald's uniform, and she is just beating the crap out of this other woman who was there with her her toddler. And the that poor little baby boy is trying to kick this other woman and telling him and, and yelling at this lady uh, to stop beating up his mom. And then at one point in the video, the woman in the McDonald's uniform, who's beating the woman, says, you better get your son before I kick him in the face, too. And you have a group of people who are standing around this and watching it and recording it and not doing a thing. They record it all on their phones, and they put it up on Facebook. They put it up on YouTube. Not a single, and there was a pretty good crowd, not a single person intervenes. No one even grabs the baby to take the baby to safety. Not a single person intervenes. I, I How many people do you would you estimate are there, Kevin? I'd say eight or nine people. That are standing people. around in that circle. Yeah. Eight or nine people. Ridiculous. And, you know, there are men there, there are women there, and they're just all standing there, and the little blessed little boy just kicking this lady, saying, get off my mom, get off my mom. Surprised it wasn't classified as a hate crime. And just, and there are other children present as well, standing and watching. A baby was the only real man there trying to save his mom. I, I, I mean, in this, and this woman in this fast food uniform is just stomping on this other lady. I'm surprised she didn't uh, kill her, frankly. Spits on her before she walks away. And the victim's just laying there. No one intervenes. And then as the uh, woman who was doing the beating, Harris walks away, she's like, oh, don't post this on Facebook. And she has not gone into work since this assault, obviously has been posted. She, The victim told police that Harris accused her of spreading rumors about her and her manager at McDonald's. Well, by all means, stomp on her head in front of her kid and threaten her kid, too. I can't believe no one in this crowd... The thing that makes me sick, A, obviously it makes me sick that it happened. But it makes me even sicker that nobody intervened. People stood there. It's like Seinfeld. That f- the finale of Seinfeld. No one intervened. No one did anything. They just stood there. I watched it happen and recorded it. I um, I mean, there are no words for that. It, make, it just makes me sick. I, I think all the people standing there watching it should all be charged as accomplices in it or for aiding the crime. I can't believe no one stopped her or did anything. What, out of fear? Why would they not stop her? Why would they not intervene? They could have bum rushed that chick and then took her to the ground. That's just crazy. I would not have been able to do that. I, I you know me, I would have jumped right in it. I just, that just, I, 
I can't. That's the thing that gets me. Our society is so messed up. We are so messed up. People, everybody's on their phones recording this and posting it to Facebook. Nobody, nobody thought to intervene. I felt so bad for that little baby. He was, he was kicking.